In this video, we take an in-depth look at the fetch execute cycle. So we reviewed all those buses, reviewed all those registers, but how does it actually work? That's what we're gonna take a look at in this video. So the PC, the program counter, shows the next instruction to be fetched, which is zero. It is going to go to zero. How is that handled? That is handled by the address bus. The address bus shows where to go on the RAM, the physical address, the, this is the RAM here, it's gonna show the physical address of where to go. So when we run this, and we're gonna run this step by step, we are now in the fetch cycle. We are fetching those instructions. Okay, now the contents of the address bus is put into the memory data register, the data bus. The data bus is handling the contents of the address, which is 110. The address bus doesn't handle the data. It told us where to go, which was zero. Now the data bus is taking over and is bringing that data from the RAM to the CPU. Now the fetch is done. What we have to do now is to code that instruction. That is done by the control unit. Here in the current instruction register, we have the instructions, which is one. Now that means add. What, where do we want to add the contents? We want to add the contents of 10. The memory address register is showing the next address we have to go to. We know we're adding. The address register says, I'm going to 10. I don't know what's there. I don't care what's there. The address bus is going to pick it up, take us to where we need to go, which is 10. Then that will be put into the memory data register, which will bring it back and then do the adding. Now, I want to point something out here. Once this is loaded into the current instruction register, where we are at right now, now the program counter will increment by one. When you're watching this, uh, this is an awesome website. The guy did an amazing job creating this website. It's a great simulation. If you haven't used it, I suggest you do uh, use it. It'll help you with the fetch execute cycle. It increments prematurely. But let's go ahead and finish this. So we're decoding the instruction. So what happens now? It says, okay, we need to add. We are adding to the accumulator the contents of address 10. So the address bus is saying, okay, you know what? We are going to address 10. So it goes there. The data bus now has the contents of address 10. In address 10 is the data 10. And we're gonna do something with that. We are gonna add it. And when I say we, we mean the CPU. Now, the CPU has determined we are going to add. How do we add? That is handled by the arithmetic logic unit. So it's gonna take what was in the accumulator, which is zero, with the new data we picked up from address 10, 10, it's gonna add it together, and it's gonna store it in the accumulator. Zero plus 10 is 10. Now, it's time to fetch the next set of instructions. I look at my program counter, it says, hey, we are going to address one. That is gonna be handled by the address bus. We are gonna to go to address one. So we are going, we are going, we are going. Now, in address one, we're gonna pick up the data one, one, one. That is gonna be stored into the data bus and handled with the memory data register. And it's gonna bring that over here. Now, we're gonna see 111. The first digit is the instruction. The second and third digit is the address of what we want to do. So here we have the current instruction, let me pause it here, which is one, which is add. What are we adding to the accumulator? Well, we look in the memory address register to decide where to go. So 11 gets put into the address bus. The address bus doesn't care what's in address 11, which in this case is uh, 15. It doesn't care about that. It just says, hey, I'm gonna take you to 11. That's where you wanna go. It takes it to 11 and now it says, okay, this is where 11 was. The data bus says, thank you. It picks up the data, 15. It's gonna bring it back 
to the CPU. Now the control bus says, okay, you have 15. I want you to add, and that's based on the current instruction register. The control bus says, I want you to add 15 to the contents of the accumulator. 10 was in the accumulator. So now we're going to add 15. That becomes 25. It gets written into the accumulator. Now there's one more instruction we're going to show, and we can write as many instructions as we want. This is 355. Three means store, and if everything goes according to plan, we should get 25 in address 55, and this is to show that it's bi-directional. So the address bus, unidirectional, it says, hey, we're going to two. Program counter says, take me to two. Address bus says, all right, I'm gonna take you to two. So it's about to go into two, and as soon as it gets to two, the data bus is gonna say, thank you very much, it picks up 355, the data bus carries the data, it doesn't know what to do with it, but it knows that it has 355. The address bus is done, it's taking a break. So now we're gonna have three go into the instruction register, 55 into the memory address register. Okay, so we're gonna pause here. Three, the control bus says, you know what, three, I, I know what I need to do with that. I need to load the contents of the accumulator. The memory address register shows where this current, whatever the current instruction is, in this case, the event is to load. We want to load it in address 55. So the memory address register is showing, hey, we need to go to 55. What bus is that going to be? That's going to be the address bus. So here, the address bus is saying, okay, we're going to 55, and we go to 55, the data bus is carrying the actual data. The memory address bus does not, or the just the address bus does not carry the data. It does not carry the data, the data bus does. We said the data bus is bi-directional because it goes from the RAM to the CPU. Now we're going from the CPU to the RAM. Earlier in these first two instructions, we were doing the reading, now we're doing the writing. We are writing in address 55, the contents of the accumulator. So here the address bus says, this is where you're supposed to be. The data bus says, thank you very much. We are going to write. How does the data bus know to write? Because it was the control bus that said, listen, when you get there, you are going to write the data. The control bus coordinates. I hope this helps clear up the difference between the address bus, the control bus, the data bus, as well as the program counter, the current instruction register, which is right here, the memory address register, and the general purpose register, the accumulator. Now, just remember, the memory data register that handles the data done by the data bus. The memory data register is either writing to or reading from, and that's what was done here. If you have any questions, please post a comment below. We'll see you guys in the next one.